Hey guys, Premiere now. Give you a quick overview, kind of step by step tutorial. Let's get Amulet installed. Let's show you how to use it and show you some simple tricks on, you know, getting bypassing some certain little annoyances you might come across. All right, so if you want any any, any step by step kind of things, there you click on these links here on the site and it shows you like some codes you copy and paste in the terminal and you can get them. You should be able to get it up and running in no time. And there's a Discord that you can get people to help you, and I'm there a lot, a uh, very lot. And if I can help, I'll respond. If I can't help, I usually just stay my stay quiet. I mean, or try my best to see if I can help. But they got a Twitter and a GitHub. I also got a GitHub. I made some plugins for this, but let's just get into the basics of this, so you guys can just get this up and running so you've already downloaded where I'm clicking you clicked on that you extracted the file you might end up with this little thing and I have to mention it because I've had at least 10 people pop up and in the last like not so often prop up and this is, happens quite often and it just means you got access denied and this is a common issue so let's just solve this immediately so you guys want to fix this issue all you have to do is straight up right click on the folder the amulet folder that you dragged on your desktop right click on it and then go to properties and once you go to properties you're going to see a security tab at the top you're going to click on the edit button and then it's going to pop up this window that you see to the left then you're just going to make sure that you have your username selected and you're going to select everything is allowed and then you're going to hit apply and that you fix that problem done and over with now next step is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to know how to move now if you're curious on how these are all stored is just go to options and controls you can change these and customize these i i customized mine and swapped the squirrel wheel because that always messed me up at the beginning and i didn't even know i can change my options so i changed the f and r with the mouse wheel scroll up and the mouse wheel scroll down because, I mean, I was literally going 90 miles an hour and I've had other people say, I can't even move. Then it literally was because they up scroll, they back scrolled on their mouse wheel and they couldn't move. So this is very, uh, very important that you guys know these keys. It's pretty much the same keys as moving. The only, the only uh, conflicting key that maybe the developer has missed is the D key, which is conflicting with the control shift D key which is kind of in the shift key, which is the same as the down key. So as you can see, if you can deselect an item, you go down and you also move right. So those two conflict with those two. So you might want to change those by default, just mentioning that because they do that. Those are very thing, very, very important keys when you're trying to maneuver around in the game and we're editing the, the platform, you're gonna to wanna to know that. Now, tab is another very important key that you cannot, it's at the bottom, but it is definitely, well, all of them are important. You gotta take note of every one of these. So you can always just go to options and controls and change these and customize these to whatever suits your needs. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a low priority bug so let's not freaking hound the developers on, on fixing this. We can fix it ourselves until it becomes default in the future. It's not that big of a deal. So we can literally fix this quick ourselves. So literally space down. We can change all these keys. We just select by, by clicking the select button. And my, my a lot of my plugins automatically have this feature enabled. Um, Anyway, I'll talk about my plugins later on. This is just about selecting, moving, importing, exporting, just the basic functions. You know, selecting, you can see this, you hover over there, you can select that, you hover over here. You can also hover in the middle, and if you see them highlighted, you can do both at once. And you can do up to three, I think, at once. So, and then if you move, you can see that there's also when you're maneuvering you can see that there actually is a floor to your level 
you know, and you note that if you're trying to transport to another world, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna note to subtract this. If, you know, the height limit's kind of a thing that you might want to like consider if you're trying to transport backwards to another world. But you got it all up here in this little thing up at the top that tell you your height and your camera position that you can actually copy and paste into the world from right here. A lot of people don't know that. You can actually paste in a location from a world or you can copy it and you can find a location from right there. As long as it's comma, comma separated or separated it, it tells you exactly right here if you hover over it it says so if you have any confusion there it tells you it's just got to be commemorated or separated and you can copy the coordinates and it tells you what it looks like so it's pretty simplistic so it's very important so importing you can't when you import something you hit the import the little high, little button hides over here on the left you hit the import that import button now another hidden thing that hopefully gets a little on buggy certainly is if you want sponge it does support sponge schematic files it's schema schema files yes it supports them those file formats you just have to manually select and then they will show up in your directory and you can you can import them and they work fabulous now the only thing is is with the cubicle xyx is there if there's an most likely there's going to be an empty array all you have to do is just contact me i'll delete it or if you want to do it manually just download mbt studio open up the file and delete the folder delete the entry like a folder it's just an entry it's a list and just delete the entities thing and it'll work it's just it, an amulet does not expect it to exist and it honestly in that format it's not standard for an empty directory to exist. So it was an unknown unknown um, issue there. So something that they're going to, Amulet's going to fix, I'm certain of. So just for now, just be aware that if it gives you an error schematic, you know, it expects a tag name. That means that you have to open it up and, and delete that empty, empty thing. If you want help with it, just let me know. So, and then we got, you know, once you once you actually import it, you know, we got to have a little bit of, might have a little bit of a um, thing here. So, once you actually have the actual item on your thing and you want to position it, you want to you want to zoom in and out. So, for now, default, you have to use the R and F keys to zoom in and out. But I switched my scroll key so I can literally just use my, I got to hold my left mouse button and just zoom out and, and, and try to do it this way. But you can also hit the tab key and chunk align it and hit the tab key. But you can't hit any other button. I mean, you can hit, click, position it and move, tab key, tab key, space bar. But you don't want to hit any one of these buttons. It'll just disappear. But just remember that you need to hit this confirm button. It might not show up. This will be fixed shortly, but the confirm button might be hidden. But I'll tell you a secret. You hit this little button right here. If the confirm button's hidden, just hit one, tab one, tab two, and you see it, right? See the tab? You have to select the selection of Z, and then that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six tabs, hit spacebar, you're done. So hit the lower scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, tab, enter. You hit the you hit the confirm. If you can't, and if you want to change pacer lava on the way, just count up and do the math. <laughs> you're down. You got it. You can do everything you can't see, and you can wait until we get this uh, visual aspect ratio thing for your monitor straightened out. So. There's the workaround for that little bug there, and I think I, I think I got it covered, you guys. Chunk, chunk, delete, chunk, delete. Another thing. Sorry, if you're deleting chunks, you have to hit this button, you guys. You have to hit delete chunk or delete unselected chunks. Don't think that your delete key will do it. I was I I thought my delete key would do it, so I and I was wrong. Nope, don't do it. Don't at all. 
delete or reset chunks. You have this is what triggers the API. The delete key is not triggered. To, you can't really put the delete key to two separate variables. So it's impossible to make. I mean, it's it is, but it, why? You know, you can't. It's got it's too different. It's delete chunks or delete unselected chunks. So if you hit delete, it wouldn't know. If you want to delete the chunks or the unselected ones, so you have to click the button, you guys. The button. Don't be like like me and think. Excuse me. Think the delete key does it all, which it doesn't. So, so there we go. I think that's it, you guys. Sorry, I had a cough and choked my guts out. But I think we figured this stuff out, and you can actually operations. Oh my god, sorry. Keep dragging this shit on. But yeah, you can go to the fill command. Sorry, I'm on my custom version. Uh, yeah, fill command. You can do whatever you want here. You can fill it with, you can fill whatever you want with um, gold. Gold, and it gives you a list. Gold blocks. Oh, oh I got it. I am so rich. Don't even know what the heck. I, I could just be. You can just be as rich as they can be. There we go. That looks better. So, and, and wait, and then you can you go to select. That's why. That's why I don't understand why. Why you know? Because some of my. I'll, I'll show you my later on. I'll, I'll show you my plugins because I literally. I can literally select and paste, like, okay, wait, I'll give you an example. Real quick, this is my recent plugin that I, that I did, the, no, it's not the frame, no. Multi-block, here's a good one. I can literally select all of those blocks. Why is that working? Oh, that's because I didn't save. It doesn't, my, my plugin won't, oh, it does actually, I wasn't selecting. It does actually. Okay, right. so I must not have been selecting it. All right, so if I select that block, it gives me the diamond block. So if I change this to G O A L D and hit save, I got a gold block. Wait, I must not have said it. I must not have said it right. When you know you got that, you didn't do something right. Oh, I put a g g ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. G -O. Hey, now I don't look all ridiculous. All right, so that's what my plugin does. You can literally grab all the blocks in area, and it just gives you a an array of SMTP, and you can grab quite a huge array of before it flakes the heck out. Man. I mean, this is better than my, my first one that didn't do the extra block. So you can literally, I can literally put water inside diamonds, but I don't know how well it would show up. I can add an extra block. And I have, I, this isn't released. So I'm sorry, I'm working on this version. I added a button where I can select and do this. So preview, I'm working on this one. Let me know what you think. But I think that's the end of this video. You're going to have to stay tuned to the next one.